Hello, I'm Rocketbug5977 and welcome to episode 20 of Rocket World, my Let's Play Minecraft series. I'd like to thank you all for your continued support with comments and likes. It's really nice to know that you're enjoying the series so far, so please continue to like and comment. Coming up in today's episode, I try some very difficult parkour and I fall from a high place. After defeating the Ender Dragon in the last episode, I've decided to raid some end cities to get some end loot, including Elytra and end rods. There's a very good reason for getting both of these. Firstly, the base is getting really tall now, and it's getting rather dangerous falling off the top, so the Elytra are going to help enormously. Also, I'm really fed up with looking at all the torches I've got scattered around the base, knowing that they're supposed to be end rods. Anyway, let's jump right into the episode and see what happens. Now, before I go end raiding, there's one more thing I've got to do before I go. That is to get my original skin back. Now, if you remember, in the last episode, I went and defeated the Ender Dragon, and that got me quite a lot of XP. And at the moment, my current skin is on damage level 1, so it's not quite back up to 0 yet. So if we have a look at the XP counter, oops, hang on, if I can get it right, there we go, 54. And that means... That I've reached the 50 total, and I can now use those levels and get myself back up to my original nice and clean and shiny skin. So I'm going to go and spend those levels now, and then we'll change back into the original skin. Right, there we go, level spent, so let's change back. There we go, looks much cleaner. Well, maybe it's a little bit subtle, but I feel better for it. So let's get ready to go end raiding. Okay, I've arrived at the stronghold. I'm geared up as with some old armour and stuff. So, let's go and see if we can find some bits and pieces. Right, it should be nice and quiet at this end. So that's good news. Right, now, I'm going to cut out a little bit of this because I'm going to be using the old pumpkin mask. And it's not very pretty, so I'll get to where I'm going i.e. the other end of the portal, and then we'll uh, see how we get on. Right, well, I found the end gateway portal, and <laughs> you couldn't make this up, really. That's, that's where we're spawn in, just there. Absolutely ideal. So, here we go, let's pop through to the other side. And here we are. Not too bad. Oh, there's the... Uh, other side. I didn't look at your body, did I? <coughs> right, I'm going to pop my hat on and make a bridge up to it so it's easy to get back to. So, it'll be another cut, I'm afraid, but I'll be back soon. Right, now I'm down on the ground, so I'm going to get a little bit of chorus fruit, because that's one of the reasons I'm coming along here, is I want to make my own end rods. So let's grab some of the fruit, and then what we're going to do is we're going to head off and see what we can find. Now I'm afraid I'm keeping my head quite low to the ground to make sure I don't aggravate any endermen. But I'm whoop, hoping that that might uh, at least give us a slight... Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, that was quick. What? I've only come... Oh, not very far at all, actually. Can I even see where I came from? Probably not, actually. I haven't been leaving a breadcrumb trail, so I guess I ought to do that. Wow, that was very fast. Normally you trek for thousands of blocks before you find an end city. Wow, very lucky. I've got to get across to it. Yes, right. How far? Hmm. Quite far by the looks of things. I wonder if I can shorten the distance by going across to there. Mm, I don't think I'll bother. I think I'll go straight across here. But I'm going to need a few more blocks than that. Right, I'm going to get some more blocks and then we'll uh, start pillaring. Okay, we're across and now comes the fun bit. Right, let's go and see if we can tackle the shulkers. 
I might get myself a potion on the hot bar. No, oh, I don't have one on the hot bar. Right, okay. Let's see if we can. Hmm, I don't know how that missed me. Ah, that one didn't. Where? Oh, just there. Right, well, we've got some shulkers to start with, that's good news. Now, I've still got to watch who I look at for the time being. But we're in. Let's have a little bit of that. And let's have a look around, see what we can find. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, this is always a bit tricky to sort out, isn't it? I'm not a big one for parkouring. I usually, uh, yeah, well, not quite that bad normally, but <laughs> I usually uh, end up rushing things and falling down. So I'm going to use a few blocks to get up. And I can always grab more in stone, and it's not as if there's a shortage of it around here. Let's see how far up we can go. Oh, we've got one of these. Okay, one of the towers. That should be fun. Now that might be worth me getting my slow falling portion, portion, potion ready. Uh, so let's have a look in here. Although you can use the water buckets, I think, although I've never tried that. Right, we'll have one of those. Silk touches that one. I really am bringing along all the worst stuff. Right, okay. If I crouch, they might not see me for a bit longer. Oop, I've been spotted, I think. Oh, he's gone. Right, I think that's more or less to the top. So let's have a look, see who we can see. Have I got fire on my bow? Flame. Oh, I didn't really like Oh, I should have brought a different bow. Oh, that's him. No, oh, that won't work. Right, who else haven't I seen him? Nope. Oh, oh dear. Right, let's get right to the top then. Are we going to fall? Yep, there we go. Let's have a look, see what we got. Oh, okay. Projectile protection, projectile protection. That's not bad. Oh, that's very nice as well. well. That's a good start. Right, let's. Uh, oh, I did have an axe here somewhere. Right, let's take these apart. Beetroot seeds. Why beetroot seeds? It always intrigues me, that does. Okay. So 
another one. Who else is left? Not okay. many by the sounds of things. Oh, is that it? Okay. Now, where's this other guy? There he is. Oops, still haven't got my potion. Why am I not drinking it? There we go, press the wrong button. That was silly. That's quite a big city, isn't it? That's nice. Right. Is there another one around here somewhere? Oh yes, there is. Ah! I wasn't going to do that. Oh, what's this? Oh, great! I think I know what that means. Uh, is it safe to go up? I think so. Oh, does that mean there's an end ship here? Oh, that's awesome. I couldn't see an end ship when I uh, first arrived here. But there is one. Yeah, oh, it's actually it's a fair bit bigger than I thought. I think I can only see one tower when I arrived. Perhaps the other one was obscured by this tower here. Oh, I'm so tempted to go and get that now. I suppose I ought to really, uh, before I run out of blocks. <laughs> At least that would give me a bit more flexibility if I did do it now. So look, what have we got? Right, okay, let's go and get it. What have we got down there? Quite a long drop. Okay, but not over the void. Is that too close? Shulkers? No. Do need to get rid of that one up there. Let's get a little bit closer. Yep. Yeah, I think I'll try and grab him now. Come on, open up. Did that just miss? Ah. ah, there we go. Is he going to move away? No, he's not. That's interesting. And there he goes. Okay, that's going to make life a little easier. Oh, there's another one right there. Okay, I didn't see him. Is he going to move out of the way? We won't give him the option. There we go. Didn't see if anything dropped. prizes for coming here. Yes, very nice. Oop. I did pick that up, didn't I? Yes, there we go, lovely. Very nice. Any good loot? Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Can't complain. Yep, uh, plenty of iron and gold in there. Not too bad. That's nice. Right, I'm going to tidy up in here, I think, and then we'll carry on. Right, here we can see what I've already taken out, and all of that lot, all that lot's been stripped, and I think that's it. Oops, I don't think I was supposed to do that. <laughs> it's just that bit over there I've got to do now. Um, if the Enderman can find me. Well, anyway, he doesn't seem to have, so let's head down here. Oh. 
Where did you go? Gotcha. Oh, there's more in here. Now, give me one minute. Oh, you're over there. Right. right, let's see if we can get this guy quickly. Yeah, there we go. Oh, right, that was good. Didn't even get hit by a bullet. Wow. Is there anybody else up here? Let's have a look. Oh, yep, there's one. Right, I'll have to watch out for him. Right, here we go. Ooh, oh, that was good. Hey, can you shoot these guys right through the bullets? Wow. Right, let's get a few more of these end rods. Oh, hang on, there's another shulker. Right, go, 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 go. Oh, yeah, that was good. I got him without being hit by another bullet. That's not very often that happens. Right, let's have a look and see what we've got. Just a few more end rods. Oh, you can see quite a lot of the um, area here. Uh, not much to go, just that building down there in the very bottom. Looks like I forgot to take out the end rods. And, well, here. But I think that's about it, really. Right, there we are. We've come to the end of uh, raiding this end city. And it's been very successful. We've got plenty of loot, so we'll have a look when we get back to base. Right, here we are back at base, and let's see what loot we got from the end raiding session. So, plenty of end rods, shulker shells, a few diamonds, lots of gold and iron and things like that. And nice lot of stuff there. That's all the sort of loose loot that I got, including chests. I'm not quite sure why I kept them in there, but that's what I got while I was there. Uh, three new ender chests. So I've got one. that's the one I took with me originally, so that's really nice. Saves me having to craft those. And this is all the armour and stuff I got, so plenty of good stuff here, which is nice. Uh, anything with... Um, and she's, I used to get a lot of stuff that had uh, Curse of Vanishing on. It seems to be a little bit more balanced now. In fact, it seems the balance seems to have gone the other way again, where we're not getting much at all. But we are getting some, because if you have a look on the sword, that's got Curse of Vanishing. And I don't didn't get anything with Curse of Binding, so... Curious. I wonder whether the balance has gone the other way there. But anyway, good session and lots of good loot. And I think it's going to be time very soon to try out the wings. Yes. Okay, when I say soon for trying out the wings, I think we'll do that now actually, because I can't wait. Because uh, I've not uh, ridden around the base on Elytra at all this season, so. Oh yeah, that's going to be more than enough. Right, I'm not going to put anything on it because I'm going to save these wings, I think, and put them up as our first elytra on the hunt level 100. Uh, but let's get a bit of height up. Right, we'll go up this level 100, this one here, so that the elytra will go in there somewhere. But let's have a look around the base quickly while we're here because it hasn't been done so, so far this season. Now, you notice that all of my levels do have a window poking out, and there's a very good reason for that. And that's called Elytra. Right, so let's see if I can remember how to use them. Ah! Oh yes, I do. Oh! Just made all those rockets, and I could have used a Riptide Trident. <laughs> anyway, let's have a quick look at the base. Yes, it's Quite interesting from up high. Oh. Uh, okay, wasn't supposed to do that. And we've got a notification pinging in the background as usual. 
Right, let's go and get the Riptide Trident. Right. There we go. Shame it's raining, but it doesn't mean we get to have uh, free flights. No rockets required. Well, let's go and have a look and see what else we can see around here, because we've not seen any of this from the ground before, uh, from the air before. So let's have a quick run along. So we come up to the road here. And we're just going out of the. Uh, here's the mountain top. If it loads. There's our tree, mountain top base, and let's see if we can find spawn. There's the big log at spawn. Yeah, so it's all fairly close together really. It looks like it's going to be time to sleep in a minute as well. This is the route through. It's really nice to see everything from the air for the first time. And you get to experience it with me for the first time as well. And there we go. Very nice. Right, let's have a look at a comment that we got uh, in the last episode. So, it says, Great fight and good job staying alive on your first solo dragon fight. That was a lot of dragon's breath. That was by Juggerite. Yes, it was uh, my first solo dragon fight uh, in the last episode. Usually I do it with other players. And yes, there was rather a lot of uh, dragon breath floating around towards the end there, so I think I did reasonably well to uh, keep alive, really. So yeah, check that episode out if you are interested. Thank you all for watching today. I do hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please do leave a like and a comment if you have enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more on a regular basis, then please consider subscribing to make sure you don't miss out and to get us to our next target of 200 subscribers. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode, so have fun and see you later.